So EdCamp is uh, started in 2010. So it started with um, a handful of people that just got together uh, and they wanted to talk about education. Really what ends up happening is the schedule gets built by educators. It's not the typical presentation environment where there's a sage on the stage or a teacher presenting to, to a class that's sitting there and waiting to absorb information. So they come in in the morning and they're going to really put topics up to be discussion leaders or facilitators and they're going to really lead that discussion in a classroom about what they're passionate about. People can contribute their ideas, their questions. From there the conversation starts and then grows and blossoms into whatever it could be. I think one of the things I want to implement pretty pretty quickly in my class is to develop a love for podcasts and then finally provide them with an outlet to create their own podcasts on their areas of interest. To ignite passion for education and to instill a growth mindset for people to challenge their own thought process and not to give up on the student. Um, it's to provide resources, guidance, to share ideas amongst each other. Uh, provides an opportunity for professional development, but in a setting where everybody can contribute. There's no expert in the room, um, and it's just about sharing ideas. You know, when, when I think about student-centered learning, it's something that um, I know we are trying to push through the schools that for the teachers to realize that the student's voice is important and to give students choices because that gives students relevant learning experiences. That's what we're doing here. We gave teachers the opportunity to pick, to have that choice, where they want to go, what they want to learn about. We gave teachers the opportunity to share their voice and to provide them with relevant learning experiences. So.